In today's video, I'm gonna take you through my evening routine, plus I'll show you more than 30 epic life hacks and DIYs that will blow your mind. Check them out! my hands down most requested video ever which is the night routine and I'm not just gonna show you what I typically do in the evenings and before going to bed I also included more than 30 amazing life hacks and DIYs that will change your life for sure so make sure you're subscribed to my channel and let's get started here I am on my way home burning my fingers with a cup of tea I just picked up luckily there's a great hack to save us let's make a mac cozy cut the top part of your sock like this and simply slide it on your cup this won't just protect your fingers from burning it will also keep your coffee tea or hot chocolate warm for much longer. On top of that, Mac cozies look so pretty and feel super snuggly. They make any hot drink 100% more cozy and enjoyable. Trust me. Okay, let's continue our way home. Oh, just gotta take care of that shoelace first. There we go. Come on now, it's getting late. Oh, stupid shoelaces, they just won't cooperate today. This hack is pretty straightforward and I've been using it for years. All I have to do is tie them twice. Here's how I tie my shoes normally, making a lovely bow. Now take the two loops and tie them again. Voila, the shoelaces will never get untied by themselves again, guaranteed. Finally, I'm home. Well, almost. I just have to find the right freaking key to unlock the door. Instead of losing precious time testing all 100 keys to see which is the right one, try this hack. Take a bunch of nail polish in different colors. Apply one or two layers of nail polish on the wider part. That's where you hold the key. Here, I chose pink. If you want to make your colored keys extra special, you can also apply a layer of glitter polish on top. I'm using a chunky silver glitter polish to give some sparkle to the key. Try to use very different contrasting colors for different keys so that it's easier to distinguish them. It looks especially gorgeous if you apply the glitter over a darker color, because of the contrast, it just pops so much more. Here I went for orange and I also applied a layer of confetti polish on top. This hack is so useful because now you can distinguish your keys straight away. But besides being super practical, I think the keys also look absolutely stunning. Especially the glitter and confetti ones are so pretty. I can't believe I lived so many years with boring keys when it's so easy to DIY the most beautiful keys in the world. This DIY life hack is pure genius, you need to try it out. The first thing that I do as soon as I get home is put on comfy clothes. Literally the second I step through that door it's like jeans off, everything else can wait. Today I'm wearing a soft cotton shirt and some sweatpants overall. Super snuggy. For my dinner, I decided to put together a delicious kale salad. Kale is very tasty and extremely healthy, but if you don't prep it the right way, it can be stringy and hard to chew. The trick is to use a bit of oil and massage it. Just scrunch and squeeze your kale three or four times and it will get all soft, juicy and yummy. Let's also add some cherry tomatoes. I showed you this hack with plates in my morning routine and as you can see, it doesn't only work with grapes. It's a great way to cut your tomatoes as well. Just one swipe and you have perfect tomato house. Next time you're buying avocados, make sure to check under the stem. If that part looks dark and browny, stay away from it. If the part under the stem is bright and green, you know that the avocado is creamy and green on the inside as well. How many times have you bought a nicely looking avocado, but when you cut it, you find out that it's all brown and slimy? I've been there a few times, but it's not happening again. I like to season my salad with lemon juice. Always roll the lemon before cutting it. Now you can simply squeeze it, or even better, check out this epic life hack. Stick the sprayer into your lemon, and you're ready to season your salad. This hack is just so cool, and it really works amazing. You can use it on your salad, fruit or you can even spray some lemon into a glass of water to give it a better taste. You can have your lemon spray ready in the fridge and it will last you for quite a few days. Time to dig into this yummy salad. I normally eat a bigger cooked meal for lunch, while for dinner I really love making something lighter. And to be honest, I'm eating all the time throughout the day. Literally every two hours I get myself a snack like a fruit, handful of nuts or a cereal bar. Okay, next hack is quite hilarious but very helpful when an eyelash or something falls into your eye and you can't get it out. Just take a bucket full of water and dip your face in. Blink a few times and voila! The eyelash that was stuck in my eye got flushed right away. But sadly, so did my makeup. And since I'm going to the gym later, I'm gonna show you my best DIY waterproof makeup hacks. 
First off, use a waterproof concealer only where you need it, instead of applying foundation all over the face. Foundation can start melting when you're sweating, but the waterproof concealer will stay put for sure. A great hack to make your eyeshadow waterproof is by using eye drops. Drip a drop of that liquid on the brush to make it damp. Load the brush with eyeshadow and apply it on the lids as usual. The eyeshadow will have a much better payoff, plus it will get kind of a tattoo effect, making it way more long-lasting. Check out how well this hack works with a blue eyeshadow. Look at this difference, it's insane! If you don't have a waterproof mascara, don't stress out. Apply your normal mascara as you usually would. Then take a hairspray, close your eyes, that's very important, and lightly spray towards your lashes. Alternatively, you can spray some hairspray on a brow brush and simply coat your lashes with it. You can also use it to put your brows in place like that. Now let's make our own DIY waterproof liner. Take your waterproof eyeshadow primer and put a drop of product on the back of your hand or into a little pot. Grab food coloring and mix it with the primer. I love this hack because it allows you to create an eyeliner in any possible color. I went for blue. Take an eyeliner brush and get that cat eye done. Food coloring is seriously such an epic ingredient for DIY makeup because it is so potent and waterproof. Check out this crazy awesome eyeliner. Wow. I love it. Lastly, we're gonna make a DIY lip and cheek stain. Mix some face primer with surprise Surprise, surprise, a drop of red food coloring. Dip your finger into that mixture and apply it on the lips. You'll get an instant waterproof lip tattoo. Do the same on the cheeks to give them a nice rosy flush. Just blend well and we're off to the gym. I don't usually wear makeup when I work out, but these tips are great for whenever you want your makeup to be extra long-lasting. Whether you're having a sports day at school, pool party, or you just live in a warmer, humid climate. Okay, what? Tell me that didn't just happen. <laughs> great, just great. Why me? I hate everything. Okay, calm down. All we need is some WD-40. If you get a gum stuck on your shoe, all you gotta do is spray it with some WD-40 and it will get right off. No need to stress out because there's a life hack to all the problems. Lately I've been trying to work out at least 5 days per week and I've actually really started enjoying it. I like to do 30 to 40 minute HIIT workouts first thing in the morning, while in the afternoon I prefer going for a walk, hiking or cycling. But today I decided to hit the gym and I actually really liked it. I'm totally not a professional here so I just tried all the different machines and it resulted in a nice combination of cardio and abs workout which I guess is great. It's recommended to be active at least half an hour each day, whether this means playing and running with your dog, skating, surfing, whatever you love. The important is that you're enjoying it. That's why I decided to jump into the pool as well. I did a little bit of swimming back and forth but I'm not a good swimmer as you can tell so I rather took advantage of the fact that I was alone in the pool and had some fun. If you're trying to get more active and fit you have to find something that you love doing. Working out doesn't only mean running on a treadmill. Go to the pool with your friends, play football, go dancing, just go out and have fun. You'll feel so much better plus it's super healthy for you. Time to head home. Oh it got a bit chilly outside. Let's zip up this jacket. Oh, seems like the day is just it's not my day. Luckily, WD-40 is here to save us again. If your zipper is getting stuck and it's not running smoothly, spray a bit WD-40. There we go, the zipper works as new. Thanks to the nail polish hack I showed you earlier, now I know straight away which key opens my front door. The first thing I do when I get back home is head into the kitchen to get a snack. Ouch, that hurt! If your slippers are too slippery like mine, a great hack is to apply a bit of hot glue on the soles. This will give your slippers a good grip. That's better, I really don't want to risk breaking a leg. Now it's time for food! I made these healthy bounty bars the day before and here's how. In a bowl, put a cup of coconut cream, a cup of shredded coconut and 2-3 to three tablespoons of honey. Mix well until all the ingredients are nicely combined and you get an even coconutty paste. Place the mixture on a parchment lined baking tray and spread it all over until you have an even thin layer. Now it's time to cut that goodness into smaller pieces and feel free to make your bounties as big or as little as you like. When you're done cutting, place the baking tray into the freezer for 10 to 15 minutes so that the bars harden. Meanwhile, we can melt some chocolate using a microwave or a double boiler. You can use any chocolate of choice, but if you want to make your bars healthier, I suggest choosing dark chocolate. Mine is 86% cacao and I love it. Time to take our coconut bars out of the freezer. Grab the first piece and dip it in the melted chocolate. Roll it back and forth and then place it on a piece of parchment paper to harden. Do this with all the coconut bars. Roll them in the melted chocolate and leave to set. You can store your healthy bounty bars in the fridge or at the room temperature and they will last you many days. 
besides these delicious coconut bars, I'm also gonna have a glass of rice milk. But you know when you open a fresh pack of milk or juice and you wanna pour it into a glass? More often than not, milk will end up everywhere else, just not in the glass. But there's actually a super easy trick to avoid all this mess. All you have to do is turn the milk or juice around and pour it backwards, like that. This way there will always be the opening for the air to go in the bottle while you're smoothly pouring the milk out. And that's better. No mess at all. My bars look kind of boring. These glittery stars will make all the difference. You won't believe how easy these are to make. Place a toothpick onto a parchment paper. Take a glue gun and draw a star or any other shape on one side of the toothpick. Fill the inside with hot glue as well. Next you need to take some glitter and while the glue is still hot, cover it entirely with sparkly glitter. Wait for the glue to cool down and harden and your cake decor is all done. How gorgeous! I also had to make one using blue glitter because you know, glittery DIYs just make me happy. I love how easy and quick these cake decorations are to make. You can be creative and make so many different shapes like hearts for valentines, numbers, letters, whatever you desire. They look so great on cupcakes, cakes or any type of food really. I would totally stick this into the mashed potatoes as well. We know that presentation is important, so why not? Anyhow, the bounty bars taste so delicious, plus they are completely guilt-free. I have a very sweet tooth, I need to have something sweet every day. But I try to keep my snacks as healthy as possible, so these coconut bars are just spot on. Quick and easy to make, super tasty and good for you. Alright, my tummy is happy, now it's time to have a bath. I made this epic DIY bath bomb myself and it works so well. Makes your bath all colorful, glittery and bubbly. In a big bowl, put one cup of baking soda, half a cup of cornstarch, half a cup of citric acid and half a cup of Epsom salt. Mix these ingredients together until they are evenly combined. Add 3 tablespoons of any oil of your choice, I'm using almond oil and mix again. Next, distribute the mixture into separate bowls. I'm making 4 different colors, so I have 4 bowls. To color up your bath bomb mixtures, take a teaspoon of water and mix in some food coloring. My first color is green. Little by little start pouring that green water into the bowl, constantly stirring because you don't want it to fizz away too much at this point. We're saving all the bubbles for our bath, right? Here comes the best part, adding glitter. Oh yeah! You can skip it, but you know, me and glitter are practically BFFs, so I definitely need it. Here I'm making the orange mixture. Mixing the orange food coloring with some water and there it goes into the bowl. Let's add some glitter and my orange mixture is all ready. I also made pink and blue bath bomb mixtures. All of these are looking fantastic, so it's time to grab a mold. I have a heart and a bobble shaped molds and first I'm gonna use the bobble. Fill both mold halves with your colorful mixture. I decided to go for layers of colors, but you can also pour them in randomly. Pat the mixture down really well with a spoon or fingers. Quickly press both halves together and there you have a gorgeous bath bomb. How beautiful it turned out with all the different colors and sparkly glitter. I also made a heart shaped one which looks just as epic. Leave them to set for a day or two and then you can take them out of the molds. You can also use silicone cupcake molds to make your bath fizzes. Just fill them with your bath bomb mixture and leave them to set for a day. Then you can simply pop them out of the mold and you're ready to enjoy the fizziest and most beautiful bath ever. Let's pop them into a glass of water to see how they work. Wow, so cool, right? Look at all these bubbles and glitter popping on the water surface. I absolutely love how these bath bombs turned out. Store-bought bath bombs can be so expensive, while you can make your own for way cheaper, especially if you buy the ingredients in bulk. Alright, let's now get a real bath. My bubble bath bomb actually split in half, but that's not a problem at all. It actually looks even better, because now we have two fizzy bombs in the tub. See how out of this world amazing it looks underwater. Whoa, it's like a magical rainbow galaxy explosion. Completely mesmerizing. I seriously can get enough watching this. It's my favorite part of getting a bath, honestly. I just want to quickly show you the hard bath bomb as well. This one sank to the bottom and formed an awesome volcano effect, making the most gorgeous bubbles on the water surface. Whoa, I can't get over how fascinating this is. Okay, my bath is all ready and silky smooth. To make it even more fun, I decided to throw in a bunch of toys. And <laughs> this is a major throw. Back. You know all the slime bath challenges and ice bath challenges that have been going on lately? Well, this is a kid's bath challenge. I must say it's really fun, I should do that more often. Oh, this frog didn't want to turn into a prince, how rude. All jokes aside, while having a bath I like to lit some candles. And these ones I actually made myself. Here's how you can make your own. First we're gonna make a DIY glass stain or paint. All you need is to mix all-purpose glue with some food coloring of choice. How simple, right? Stir these two ingredients well to get an even colored mixture. Optionally you can also add some glitter and since my paint is blue I decided to add a lot of blue glitter. Mix well to evenly distribute it throughout the mixture and our glass paint is ready. 
I want to have a heart shape opening on my candle, so I'm sticking on a heart sticker. If you want to color your entire candle, you can of course skip this step. I'm so happy that I learned the way to make my own glass stain for so cheap. Glass paints in stores are super expensive. Where I live, they cost almost $10 for one single color. But we ain't paying that much, no no. You can use these paints to paint any glass decor pieces, like vase, jars, whatever you want. My candle is completely covered in blue, so I can peel off that heart sticker like that. If the edges are not perfect, don't stress girl. You can clean them up with a q-tip soaked in acetone. I also want to make a red candle so here I'm mixing glue with red food coloring and pink glitter. At first your paint looks opaque but when it dries it actually becomes more like a stain. Here are my finished candles and I think they look so beautiful. They provide such a cozy dimmed colored light when they're lit. I also love how the glitter reflects the flame making it all sparkly and gorgeous. These candles are a perfect decoration whether you place them in your bathroom, living room or your nightstand. While I'm in the tub I like to just relax and brainstorm some video ideas or read a book. Keeping it in line with the kids path challenge, I decided to read a little kids story today. Also how flipping cool are these bookmarks? To make your own you need a binder clip and some googly eyes. Apply two blobs of glue on the clip. While the glue is still hot, place one googly eye on each of the glue drops and you're done. This may just be the easiest and most epic DIY bookmarks I've ever seen. They're perfect for school or reading and will put you in a good mood whenever you see them. Reading kids books is such an epic way to relax and unwind. Suddenly you forget about all your everyday problems and you step into this lovely fantasy world. After taking a bath or a shower, it's time to put on the coziest pajamas ever. Today I went for some over knee socks, the softest pajama jumper and matching shorts. To take the makeup off, I'm using my DIY makeup remover pads. Grab any kind of a jar, fill it with cotton pads. Then take your favorite makeup remover or micellar water and pour it into the jar so that the cotton pads get nicely soaked. Put the lid on and you have your DIY DIY makeup remover pads ready. I think this hack is genius as it saves you so much time every day when you're taking your makeup off. I got a very sensitive skin and store-bought makeup wipes or pads really make it irritated. So this DIY is perfect for me as I can use my favorite makeup remover to create the DIY pads and I know my skin will love them. After taking my makeup off, I wash my face with an oil-based cleanser. Keeping my skincare routine as simple as possible has really done wonders for my skin. Lastly, I slap on my favorite moisturizer and I'm off. I decided to make myself some herbal tea and let Let's just talk about how flipping adorable is this panda mug. And you know what's the best part? You can make one too. Take a plain white mug and sketch your design on using a pencil. If you're good at freehand drawing, then feel free to skip this step. Now take a black porcelain marker and simply color the ears and the eyes in black. I like to leave two white dots in each eye to make the panda look even cuter and more anime inspired. Let's give this baby some rosy cheeks using a light pink marker. We should not forget about the cute little nose and mouth either. Lastly, I'm drawing a small red heart in the bottom corner because I just love this mug so much. How easy it is to transform an inexpensive plain mug into something so cute and unique. You can draw so many different designs for yourself or give them as presents to your friends and family. It literally took me 5 minutes to make one and it turned out amazing. My new favorite mug for sure. Ah, the best part of day is to cozy up in bed with a cup of tea or hot chocolate. I'm adding some honey to make my tea sweeter. Did you know that if you're stirring your drink in circles, you're actually doing it wrong? You should stir it back and forth, like that. This way the ingredients incorporate way quicker and better. If you're impatient like me and drink your tea, coffee or chocolate way too hot, here's a solution to your burnt tongue. Dip your tongue in some sugar and it will relieve the pain instantly. Mmm, feels so nice and tastes great too. In the evenings, I really like having that ultimate me time. Sometimes I'll edit and work on my videos, but if not, this usually means browsing the internet watching YouTube videos and chatting with you in the comments while drinking my tea or chocolate. If I'm not too tired from the long day, I like to grab some nail polish and paint my nails. Today I decided to go for a beautiful frosty blue design perfect for this time of the year. Start by applying a base coat to all the nails to keep them healthy and pretty. Take a creamy light blue shade and apply one or two coats, whatever you need to get a fully opaque result. Most of the time I just keep my nails in one solid shade but today I decided to make them a bit more special. Dip a striper or a small paintbrush in a shimmery darker blue shade. Apply this color mostly on the tip of the nails, making short strokes. When there's only little color left on the brush, move up. This way you create a gradient where the color is concentrated on the tips and fades into the lighter blue going up. You can even dip the brush into the shimmery polish again and apply it only on the tips of the nails to get it really opaque there. Now it's time to take some chunky silver glitter and apply it all over the nail. This step will really bring the design together and make your nails look so cool and frosty. 
Last but not least, apply a layer of fast drying top coat to seal the design and add that lovely shine. That's it! The nails were so quick and simple to make, but they look gorgeous. I really like how bold and sparkly they are, absolutely perfect for the season. You can make a design like this in any color. All you need is a light shade, shimmery darker shade and some chunky glitter. I gotta try the pink combination, I bet it would look fantastic. Ok, the nails are all done, looking rather amazing, so it's time to get ready for bed. I head to the bathroom to brush my teeth. After that I take my DIY Lash Serum, which makes your lashes grow so much fuller, I'm not even kidding, it's a magic product. To make it, you have to fill half of the bottle with castor oil, then add some vitamin B, I'm using a syringe to do that. Lastly, add some almond oil into the bottle as well and you get an awesome eyelash serum. I've been using this serum every night for a month and I'm already seeing a big difference. Lashes start growing much thicker and fuller. I've never tried lash extensions and I find false lashes hard to apply and pretty uncomfortable. I much prefer natural remedies like this. You can also use this serum for your eyebrows or even the hairline. Works wonders! Before I go to bed, I switch on this gorgeous flower lamp, which, surprise surprise, I made myself. You need a cheap lampshade, artificial flowers and glue. This DIY is super straightforward. Simply apply a drop of glue on a lampshade and stick on a flower. Continue doing this until you cover the entire surface and that's pretty much it. Why would you pay a lot of money for a fancy lamp when you can DIY your own for cheap and it turns out that pretty? I only paid $4 for my plain lamp and we made it look so gorgeous. Plus, no store-bought lamp could ever be so special, unique and dear to your heart than some that you made with your own hands. This is why I like DIYing, it gives so much more meaning to objects. Before falling asleep I always check my social media and give comments and likes to all these amazing edits you guys are making. You are so talented, it blows my mind. If you're like me and sometimes have trouble falling asleep, try this hack. Blink very fast for about 30 seconds. Tired eyes make you feel really sleepy, so by the time these 30 seconds are over you'll already sleep like a baby. End your day with a smile, a happy thought and a grateful heart. So I hope you guys enjoyed my night routine which you were requesting so much for over a year. I know it took me a bit long to make it but only because I worked extra hard on it. So give the video a big thumbs up if you liked it and tell me in the comments what video do you want me to film next. Thank you so much for watching guys, I'm sending you a big virtual hug and I'll talk to you soon. Bye! Before you fall asleep tonight, think of all the good things that happened today and keep a smile for tomorrow. Sweet dreams my loves!